Hey y'all, it's Destiny and welcome back to Destiny Reacts. Thank y'all so much for putting the hearts in the comment section in my last video. I appreciate all of you. Also, everybody who likes my last video and dropped a comment, thank you so much. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Liv's life and we're also going to be talking about Strong Mommy Chrissy. Liv's life did a live the other day and she was talking about not wanting to put her kids back on her YouTube anymore or even her Instagram. So we're going to talk about that. And we also have to talk about Strong Mommy Chrissy. She did a video. She's still not feeling well. She went to the ER. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Now, Liv's life did a lot to get her kids back from their father. Now, we know that she took the drug test for the hair, the nail, um, and everything else she had to do. I think the urine sample test. And for, as far as we know, she did pass those. So that is why the kids are back. In the live, a lot of people were asking, where are the kids? What are the kids doing? Where's Ryan? Where's Christian? Where's Robin? You know? And she was saying that they're in school now. She signed all three of them up for school, so they're in school. But then she also started talking about her not wanting to put them on social media as much anymore. And she also said why she did not want to put them on any social media anymore as well. Liv does not like that reactors put her children in their thumbnails or in their videos. So she's not wanting to put her kids on anything anymore. That way nobody is able to see her kids or post them anymore. But I'm thinking maybe it's also another reason. Maybe her and Gerard are still going at it and she doesn't want him to see the kids either or even his family. Do you guys understand where she's coming from not wanting to put her kids online anymore? Do you think that is a good decision for her and that's the right choice? Or do you think maybe she's taking it too far and the kids are a part of her channel and she should keep posting them? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. She does say that she will have the kids here and there in the vlogs. You might see them in passing or something like that. But the way she was posting them in her videos before they left, she doesn't want to do that anymore. Liv also says that she feels bad about not posting them and thinking about not posting them because the people that support her 100% and agree with everything that she does, they are really going to miss the children. And I think everybody will. Everyone loves seeing those kids. They're so adorable. And of course, people love seeing what they're doing. Now they're in school and she doesn't want to even post their first day of school pictures. Another topic she talked about in that live was getting another place. She says that her place that she wants to get is bigger and better and bigger, bigger, bigger. So she wants to get a bigger place and a better place for her children to live. And hey, I think that's a great idea. Jasmine went and got her a house that's really nice and enough room. So yeah, go ahead and get those kids a nice house to live in. Liv also hinted to having a new person in her life that she is probably in a relationship with and this person is saying that you can move in with me you can go ahead and move in i don't know what kind of house it is but this person is saying move in with me but Liv is saying she wants her own place her own space for her children she doesn't want to just move in with the person that she's seeing she doesn't want to move in anyone's house because she says she enjoys having her own space her own place something to call her own she doesn't like the idea of moving into somebody else's space somebody else's house and i get it that's definitely understandable if you understand where Liv is coming from and maybe you agree with her drop it down below let me know what's really interesting about this whole situation is she says the person that she's seen got offended that she didn't want to move in with them Liv didn't realize this person would get so offended that she declined the offer to move in with them. And, mm, I don't know, sounds like a red flag to me. What do y'all think? Should somebody get upset because you don't want to move in with them? Sounds like a red flag. Liv also gave a woman advice in the comments. A person named Evelyn, her baby daddy left, and she's very heartbroken about that. But of course, Liv came to give some advice to her. She told her that she will be okay. It, it's going to take time. I mean, whatever she needs to do, cry, scream, have a fit, be upset about it, do it. But it's going to take time to get over that hurt. Liv also told her not to let him come back. And I'm pretty sure she is thinking about her ex, Gerard. And she also starts talking about that situation. Liv says that she wished she could go back in time eight, nine years ago and do it all over again because it all was for nothing at this point one woman in the live actually asked Liv like you would turn back the hands of time didn't those eight or nine years actually make you who you are today this is a very good question if you ask me and this is what Liv said it did make her who she is yes but 
she still would go back. But she says maybe just the last two years she could have done without it. When she first had Ryan, she thinks that she should have just left and stayed gone. Liv also talked about having a lot of personal stuff that she needs to talk about, but she doesn't want to talk about it with everybody, so she's probably just going to be doing lives with her members at first until the word gets out and everyone finds out, and I guess then she'll be back doing lives with everybody. What kind of personal stuff, though? I want to know. I mean, I know you probably got a new lover over there that you're not telling us about, but what kind of new stuff? What kind of, what personal? What personal? I want to know. Liv is trying to X out all the trolls in her channel that just want to find out what's going on and spread the word to everyone. So she believes that any trolls will not be able to purchase or will not want to purchase her membership so they will not be able to find out. Now let's move on to Chrissy. Her and Jasmine are definitely having a hard time with their health. Chrissy told us in her video that she did have pneumonia when she was living in Vegas and that was the first time and last time she's ever had pneumonia but it might still be affecting her right now if you made it this far go ahead and drop some red and yellow hearts in the comment section right now so i know you did chrissy's been having pain in her lungs she said on the left side and she doesn't know what's going on she's been trying to figure it out after she told us she was feeling sick a couple weeks ago she did start feeling better and then all of a sudden now she's back to feeling terrible again now, one thing I do know about Chrissy is when she starts getting really sick, feeling sick, nauseous, um, cold symptoms, stuff like that, she's usually been pregnant. If you guys remember in the live she did with Rod, she did say they had some big news and they were just waiting to tell everybody. So, I don't know. Do you think Chrissy's pregnant? Or maybe not? Let me know in the comments. Do you think she's pregnant? But, but that's my bae though. Like... Yeah. He ain't going nowhere. We, we, look, listen. Um, we have some special announcements coming for you guys pretty soon. And uh, I'm just really excited. But I just keep, you know, I just keep keep them right here. You know what I'm saying? It's my little, my little, my little sweet treat. You know what I mean? You know what <laughs> Once Chrissy got to the ER, she did have an IV. She also had a blood pressure cuff that they were continuously taking her blood pressure. And she started to tell us what they were telling her and all the tests that they were running. She had the nasal swab done, the same test that they do for checking for if you have COVID. And I guess that same test can be used to test for anything else that's wrong. So hopefully she finds out exactly what's going on. And my prayers are definitely out to her. Hopefully this ER visit leads to her finding out exactly what's going on and what's the problem. That way she can fix it and get back to feeling better. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in the next one.